We have a new video for you today and we're checking out the later generation of Noctua fans. This is their G2 generation, it's been long awaited. So they're releasing the first three fans, or three types of fans. We have the standard, we have the LS version, which is the low speed, as well as the dual set. They're slightly different, but overall, they are kind of similar in terms of what features and what improvements they bring. So let's check out what we got and start from there. So this is a 120 mil fan and it's got a bunch of accessories and it's not cheap. So this particular fan, even though it's the low speed version, it's actually the same price as a standard version, which is almost 35 US dollars or 35 euros, which actually feel that the people in the US get a bit of a discount depending on your state and your tax laws. But Enough with that. Let's open up and see what we have inside. One of the things that Noctus mentioned in this particular generation is that it has a very small gap between the blade and the side wall. So much so that right now they're actually putting the little paper inside to kind of protect the fan. And with this paper in place, it's actually not spinning freely. You can actually hear it's catching. The gap is claimed as 0.5 mil. So if we just remove this piece of paper, you can see it just freely spins now. That's how small the gap it is. Have a look at just here. It's kind of insane. In terms of the accessories, you also get a bunch of stuff inside here. Probably a bit too much for most people, but you're kind of prepared for any possible eventuality. So we have an extension cable, we have a low noise adapter. We have a Y splitter, and that comes with every one of these fans, which is kind of cool. You also have this gasket. For mounting, you have two different options. You have this little prongs or screws. Y splitter, that's kind of straightforward. If you have multiple fans, it can connect using one connector and split out. Pretty straightforward. The low noise adapter, that's if you want to slow it down even further, which Look, to be honest, maybe you'll do it, maybe you don't, it's up to you. The extension cable, and that's because by default, the cable is actually very short. And I actually like this. In a lot of cases, this is enough to plug in into your port, let's say at the top of the case or on your cooler. But if you need to extend it, you get the cable. So it's a bit less mess, but at the same time, Nocto has not gone with what the industry has been doing for a little while now and created any special interconnectors or any um, daisy chain connectors. So you can just connect from fan to fan to fan and then across to the board. Also, as you can see, it's the standard you know, color scheme and no RGB. So you're paying a lot for engineering and what this fan is, but you're getting a fan, a high quality fan, but it's still a fan. I do like that on the side, it actually has the, the flow direction and how you should mount it, which is a nice feature. It does come with the little corners straight away. So you can mount it you know, on a cooler or onto your radiator. And this is where this, this little gasket comes in. So this gasket is made for specifically radiator mounts. So if you're mounting this onto a radiator, what you do is you remove these and you basically attach it to the top here. And what it does, it helps you have a slightly tighter fit for that airflow to the radiator. So you'll just attach just a little bit tighter to have that airflow going through and hopefully reduce the noise as well because it's gonna create a little bit less turbulence. With this generation of fans, and this goes across the whole range, they've made a, actually a significant amount of improvements. I'm not gonna go into so many details, but the biggest ones are the way that the actual fan blades work and the design of those as well as the motor. So the motor now is able to fight the back pressure of the fans, especially when you're installing it against a thick radiator or a tightly knit radiator. You're gonna have a bit of back pressure. So in this case, the fan is actually able to increase its speed or maintain its speed to push that air through. So we'll check it out in a bit when we get to actual testing. As far as the speed is concerned, this particular fan goes up to 1100 RPM, while the main non-LS version goes up to 1800. That's kind of it for this fan. So let's just take, take that to the side. Now onto something that is a little bit more special with this generation, and is this dual set. 
So this jewel set comes in at around $65. So you get about $5 discount in comparison to getting the fans individually. And these fans are slightly different. These are basically your stock 1800 RPM fans, but they're not quite. What happens with this particular kit is they're slightly offset. So you actually see they're called a PP version, and it's because they come as a fan A and fan B, or maybe the other way around. They are slightly different in terms of their speed. And the way it works is they are designed to be around 50 RPM offset from each other. Therefore, if you install them in a pull push configuration, they're not gonna create as much howling noise when they're both running at the same speed or at the same um, PWM speed. So therefore, they'll be slightly offset so the tonalities don't match themselves. And actually acoustically, that should, in theory, not create extra noise and maintain performance. So one is a bit faster, one is a bit slower. Let's open them up. And I believe they should actually be labeled A and B. So let me just double check. Yes, they are. So you can actually see here, you have a reference and it has, it goes PWM, PPA, and PPB. And that's really important. So let's see if they actually have listed speed on here. So yes, yeah, so this one's 1750. So you can see this one's 1750, just here, RPM. And this one is 1850. So they actually have 100 RPM between them. If the standard fan was 1800, this one's 50 less, this one's 50 more. Therefore, if you add it all up, it's kind of the same. But with joining them together, you can actually install them in a pull push configuration over let's say a radiator or a cooler, and that should deliver good performance at reasonably low acoustics. And there is something else about this. So actually Noctua recommends, if you have a triple fan on the front of your case, they actually recommend going with an A, B, a style fan to also reduce vibrations and reduce noise that you might have from them being next to each other. So there's another use case. One of the things I'm planning to do is, since we're reviewing a lot of cases and sometimes cases come without fans, we're gonna standardize our builds and we'll use two of these fans. So the, these two will go at the front of so the A and B and we'll use one of the LS versions at the back of the fan for exhaust. So these will be intake and one of those will be exhaust. And that will actually go to our standard test bench setup so we can be a little bit more fair and have a more consistent results from cases that don't come with fans pre-installed. They might not be the best value, but they still need to have at least baseline performance. In terms of accessories, this has very similar accessories. In fact, it has exactly the same accessories, just kind of doubled up. You have the wire splitter, as you should. You should really connect these to a single port with a wire splitter. You have two gaskets, and then it, literally everything else is just doubled. So extra rubber things, two sets of screws, two sets of uh, noise reducing cables, and two sets of extensions. So literally everything else is doubled up just with one Y cable. So the next step is I'm gonna get onto our test bench, test them out, see how they perform across our existing test, uh, test suite, and then basically come back to some conclusions of if they're actually worth your money. The G2 LSPWM runs up to around 1086 RPM with a measured 34.9 dBA at full speed. Despite the modest RPM ceiling, it landed right in the middle of the pack in our thermal benchmarks, keeping the CPU at 55 degrees above ambient. That's effectively on par with the Be Quiet Salva Wings 4 120mm fan, which spins faster at roughly 1570 RPM and produces slightly more noise at 35.6 dBA. The dual fans step things up. Fan A runs at 1750 RPM with 38.3 dBA and Fan B runs at 1846 RPM with 39.4 dBA. In our 100% fan speed test, they scored 52 Celsius and 51 Celsius above ambient, pushing into the top performance tier without crossing the 40 dBA line. For reference, Silent Wings Pro 4 and other high-speed fans needed higher RPM and higher noise to reach similar results. When we look at the noise normalized results, things improve further. All three fans stay below 40 dBA at full speed, with competitors showing increased temperatures while Noctua stayed the same. 
This places both faster fans among the most efficient 120mm options in our chart, rivaling or beating high-speed models while being quieter. To be fair, I'm not actually sure what is the point of the LS variant here. Since all of these fans support PWM, you can just get a better fan and slow them down in BIOS or software. Alternatively, you can use the included low noise adapter and slow them down that way. Nocto continues to lean into the function over flash. Both LS PWM and the dual fan kit includes complete mounting and cabling bundle, with the dual sets simply doubling everything and providing a single splitter for easier header management. The build quality is excellent and the dual fan setup shows a lot of thoughtful design. The main drawback is the price. Other high-end fans typically bundle additional features such as RGB, daisy chain cabling or cable free interconnect systems. In this case, the focus is on performance alone and it carries higher cost. Overall, the Nocta G2 LS PWM stands out for its quiet, efficient cooling, making it a great fit for intake or exhaust in the silent focus systems. While its lower RPM ceiling means it's not built for the brute force performance, its acoustic finesse is hard to beat. The dual fan set elevates that further with a smoother noise profile, excellent pressure handling and performance on par with some of the loudest fans on the chart, but at lower noise levels. It's a premium option, but one that delivers where it counts. No frills, no RGB, no daisy chain, just well executed engineering that prioritizes performance per dBA. As for recommendations, it's hard to argue with the results. These are among the best of the fans available today. If your budget is in the barrier, they're an easy yes. Thanks for watching. If you think these fans might be what you need, check out the link below for more details. As always, don't forget to like the video and subscribe for more. We'll see you in the next one.